in the tropical rainforests of northeastern Australia and the thick jungles of New Guinea, lives one of the most extraordinary birds on the planet, the cassowary. Often called a living dinosaur, this large flightless bird bears a striking resemblance to prehistoric creatures, particularly the recently discovered Corotheraptor jacobsi, a raptor-like dinosaur that once roamed the earth. There are three known cassowary species, the southern cassowary, the largest and most studied, the northern cassowary, found in northern New Guinea, and the dwarf cassowary, which is, surprisingly, still quite big despite its name. The southern cassowary is the most iconic. It can grow as tall as 6 feet, or 180 centimeters, and weigh up to 175 pounds, about 80 kilograms. Cassowaries belong to a group of flightless birds, known as ratites, along with ostriches, emus, kiwis, and rheas. But among these, cassowaries stand out, not just for their size, but for their appearance. Their bodies are cloaked in dense, black, hair-like feathers that help shed rain and protect them in thick undergrowth. Their necks flash with vibrant blue and red hues, and hanging from their throats are two red wattles that look almost ornamental. But what really sets them apart is their cask, a tall, helmet-like structure atop their head. It's made from a spongy core of bone, covered in keratin, the same protein found in our nails. It feels soft, almost like styrofoam, but it gives the cassowary its prehistoric appearance. A 2021 study introduced another theory. The cask might work as a thermal window, helping the bird regulate its body heat in the humid rainforest. Whatever the function, one thing is certain. It's a crown that adds to the cassowary's mystique. Cassowaries are solitary by nature. They prefer to move alone, silently threading through the dense underbrush of the rainforest. These birds rarely interact with others outside of mating season, and even then, those encounters can be brief and sometimes violent. They favor old-growth tropical rainforests, but they're surprisingly adaptable. Cassowaries have been found in swamps, mangrove forests, riverine areas, and even along the edges of beaches. As long as the environment provides dense cover and a rich supply of fruit, they can survive. And that's what cassowaries are built for. Fruit. They are primarily frugivorous, meaning that their diet consists mostly of fruit, and they are known to consume fruit from over 238 plant species. Many of these fruits are toxic to other animals. Cassowaries, however, have evolved to safely digest them. And in doing so, they play a critical ecological role because they disperse seeds far and wide, allowing entire ecosystems to regenerate. Some seeds even require passage through a cassowary's digestive tract to germinate successfully. The bird swallows large fruits whole walks long distances and deposits the seeds, often intact, along with a healthy dose of fertilizer. In this way, the cassowary functions as a living seed distributor, keeping the rainforest alive. To feed, cassowaries may travel up to 8.4 miles, or 12.5 kilometers, within a 100-day period. They'll cross rivers, climb hills, and walk tirelessly in search of fruiting trees. They may also consume mushrooms, insects, snails, frogs, rodents, birds, and even fish when fruit is scarce. Cassowaries are incredibly agile. They can sprint up to 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour through dense rainforest. They can leap as high as 6 feet or about 180 centimeters off the ground. And they can swim across rivers and even venture into the ocean when necessary. But above all, they are most famous for one thing their deadly feet. Each foot of a cassowary is equipped with three toes, the innermost of which bears a dagger-like claw that can grow up to five inches, about 12 centimeters in length. This claw is sharp, thick, and curved, capable of inflicting serious wounds. When threatened, the cassowary will hiss, fluff its feathers, charge, or kick while leaping. This defense mechanism has earned the cassowary its infamous title, the world's most dangerous bird. But how accurate is that? Despite their reputation, cassowaries are not naturally aggressive toward humans. In fact, in the wild, they prefer to stay away. Most recorded attacks occur in developed or suburban areas where cassowaries have been fed by humans and have lost their fear of people. 
A 2006 study reviewed 221 cassowary-related incidents, of which 150 involved humans. About 75% of those occurred when the bird was expecting food and became aggressive when it didn't receive any. Only 3% of all attacks resulted in serious injuries. There have only been two confirmed fatalities in over a century. The first occurred in 1926, when one teenage boy tried to club a cassowary and was fatally injured by a slash to the neck. The second happened in 2019, when a Florida man who kept a cassowary on his property fell and was attacked. These cases are tragic, but they're not evidence of a violent species. Instead, they serve as reminders that wild animals should be respected, not handled or provoked. Cassowaries mostly stay in their habitat, especially during breeding season, which runs from June to November, and it brings one of the rare occasions when these solitary birds seek company. Mating involves low-frequency booming calls. some as low as 32 hertz, which is nearly below the range of human hearing. These calls can travel long distances through the rainforest. When a male and female meet, there's a courtship ritual of chasing, circling, and soft vocalizations. Once mating occurs, the female lays three to five pale green eggs in a shallow forest nest, and then she leaves. From this point forward, the male is entirely responsible for the eggs, he incubates them for about 50 days, rarely leaving the nest. After hatching, the striped chicks stay with him for up to 9 to 12 months, during which time he teaches them to forage, stay safe, and recognize fruit. He is the protector, the teacher, and the single parent, a remarkable role reversal in the bird world. Archaeological findings suggest humans may have harvested cassowary eggs and reared chicks as far back as 18,000 years ago long before the domestication of chickens. Today, the southern cassowary is listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. Fewer than 4,000 individuals are estimated to remain in the wild. The greatest threats they face are all human-made, like deforestation and habitat fragmentation, being struck by vehicles when they attempt to cross roads, being preyed upon by dogs and invasive species like feral pigs, and the increasingly dangerous impact of humans feeding cassowaries, disrupting their natural behavior. But efforts are underway to protect them. Wildlife corridors are being established to reconnect fragmented forests. Warning signs mark cassowary crossing zones. Conservation groups work to educate the public about the dangers of feeding wildlife. And indigenous knowledge is increasingly being incorporated into protection plans. If we act now, there's still hope. So is the cassowary the world's most dangerous bird? The evidence is clear. Absolutely not. They're remarkable survivors, dedicated single fathers, and the unsung heroes keeping ancient rainforests alive. The real danger is losing them forever. Maybe it's time we stopped calling them killers and started calling them what they really are, irreplaceable guardians of the forest. Thanks for watching. Check also these videos.